Good morning, caregivers. It's Wacky Wednesday in my world, and it's probably Wacky Wednesday in your world. One way or the other, it's wacky, isn't it? Well, I forgot to get the temperatures today. Michael, did you look at them? It is going to be warmer here than it's going to be in Michigan. There you go. There's your correct um, forecast for today. <laughs> um, I'm happy you've joined me today. I want to thank our sponsors, Life in the Carolinas. Check them out at lifeinthecarolinas.com. Their shows are there. They've got a wealth of information on that website too about a lot of things. Check them out. Also, Passmore's Grocery and Grill. You can run over there and have breakfast or lunch. It's good southern country cooking, so check it out on Saluda Street. Also, you can um, visit Vitamin Depot on Selenese Road. Vitamin Depot is behind, uh, let's see, it's Burger King and what is that other? Dunkin' Donuts. Couldn't think of it. Well, that's because I don't spend too much time eating donuts. Y'all know I've got a bestseller called If My Body's a Temple, Why Am I Eating Donuts? You should check that out. But back to Vitamin Depot, run in there and talk to David about the products he has. And I'll remind you again, he's got the best, highest quality, cleanest protein powder, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. I like that vanilla a whole lot, so check that out. Well, as I told you earlier in the week, today we're going to talk about my friends, Chip and Joanna Gaines. I feel like that I know them very well, and of course they don't know me from Adam, but I don't think we've missed any of their shows. Love that show, Fixer Up. When I was with so many, many, many people that were sad to find out they were ending that show. But if you've watched any footage about why they ended the show, I very much admire this family. Let's face it, they had a very, very lucrative show going. And off of that came so many other lines of business. Um, the soft products that she sells now. Uh, I don't know. All the different lines of things that came off of it. Magnolia Homes, Magnolia Products, and then the magazine. They've written several books. Even Chip's got a book out. So they've done very well off of that show. And I'm happy for them. But they decided to end that show while everything was going good and end the height of that career, that phase of their career, for the express purpose of being with their family. Now, as caregivers, we understand that, don't they? Don't we? We've all made sacrifices to one degree or the other. We are making sacrifices presently to take care of family. Now, I realize all of you guys watching are not dealing with dementia. You may not be caregiving at all. You may be caregiving for someone who has cancer, leukemia, or whatever it is your situation is. But you know what? When you say you're not caregiving at all, hmm, that's probably not true. Because in some way, we all caregive, unless we're just sitting on the sofa all day long. And if you're sitting on the sofa all day long, get your rear end up and go do something for somebody. Yeah, that's what I got to say. Well, I want to start with a few quotes. I've got a few little quotes here from Chip and Joanna, and this one actually is from Chip, which kind of surprised me because it's logical, and you just don't get that from Chip a lot, do you? It says, I can't promise there won't be any curveballs, but if you do the hard work and never quit, good things are waiting on the other side. Oh, wow, that really did relate to caregiving for dementia for me. Curveballs, honey, I can tell you about curveballs. If you want to hear about some of the curveballs in our story, in our journey with my mom who has advanced Alzheimer's, go back and watch the first three episodes, I believe, of what's going on with mama. Curveball after curveball after curveball. But the little woman has decided to settle down and be content and be happy in her home where Miss Carla is taking such good care of her. Can I stop a minute here and tell you what Carla did? Carla, I think, is caregiver extraordinaire. Um, the owner thinks he runs that business, but it's Carla that knows everything that goes on in there and how it's supposed to be done. Hi to Carla. You know we love you. <clears throat> so Carla called us while we're in Florida here, and Mama's um, actually in North Carolina. And when you look down and the phone has the name of her home on it, you get a little nervous, right? Why are they calling? This cannot be good news. So I answer the phone kind of tentatively. Hello? And it's Carla, and she says, Carol, Mama's fine. I called to tell you something. Whew, thank you for starting the sentence like that or the conversation like that. She said, well, I wanted to tell you that tonight I made an apple pie for dessert for the residents. And I got Vera Jean, which is what she calls my mama, got Vera Jean settled at the table, and she had a good supper. And I said, Vera Jean, do you want a piece of apple pie? And my mama, in the logic that only my mama has, said, no. I don't eat apple pie. It'll make my butt big. I'll have cookies instead. Except, number one, my mama didn't say butt. She might have said that board that begins with A and ends with SS. Y'all know how to spell that? 
because that's my mama. It's going to make her butt big if she eats apple pie. But in her logic, it's okay to eat cookies. I told y'all she is the original cookie monster. Now, I've just been thinking about mama's logic. I'm really liking it. What do you think? Let's skip apple pie and just eat cookies. There are so many good ones. <laughs> so caregiving is a journey and it's always changing. Joanna says, if you can't find happiness in the ugliness, you're not going to find it in beauty either. Oh, now ugliness and caregiving. You know, the first thing I think about is toileting. Oh yeah, that's not fun. I've had some experiences with mama where I've had to help with assist that. Mm -mm -mm. When things were not good, you know what I mean. When things weren't moving, oh yeah, that's not fun. That's the ugliness. But in the process of that, you still find beauty. You find something to giggle about. And you remember, you love these people. And these people took care of you and they love you. Mm, yes, amen, amen. Joanna says, even in the trials of life, if we have eyes to see them, we find good things everywhere we look. Well, I hope that's true for you, but I can tell you, I've met people that no matter how good their life was, they absolutely did not see the good in it. I can think of some people right now that I just shake my head when I know that all they do is gripe and complain. They don't find anything happy. They don't know good stuff. And some of these people are living in extreme, extreme wealth. Money out the wazoo. Can do whatever they want, but they complain about everything. Oh, makes you realize that money does not buy happiness, does it? I'm looking down here at my clock, because guess what? I set the timer today. Are you proud of me? I'm proud of me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Joanna says, don't quit and don't give up. The reward is just around the corner. And in times of doubt or times of joy, listen for that still, small voice. Know that God has been there from the beginning, and he will be there until the end. Oh, yeah. Well, I have said many times, I don't know if I've done on this particular show, but I have on my podcast that when I get to this the end of this journey with my mama and I look back on the things that we did with her and for her, decisions we made on her behalf, how we spent her money, how we took care of her physically, did we get her hair washed and did we get her body taken care of, did we keep her in good clothes, did we do all those things, did we make her laugh, did we bring joy to her life? I'm going to know that when I get back, get to that point that we did those things. I'm going to look back on my journey and say, I did the best I can do. I can say that because this is something that I think about daily. I don't want to get to the other end of this journey and go, oh, I really wish I'd have gone to see mama. I wish mama had have known I loved her because boy, my mama knows that. I make sure that even in days when I'm not sure she knows who I am, she knows I love her. Oh, that's important. Well, Chip and Joanna are also known for two things, I think, very strongly. And one is, um, what's that stuff they put up on the wall? Shiplap. Shiplap. Thank you, Michael. Shiplap. I'd never heard of Shiplap till I saw that show. And I bet a lot of Americans hadn't either. Well, I think Shiplap's very pretty. I don't have any Shiplap to show you today. But what I do want to show you is a barn door. Now, you know, they kind of introduced the world to barn doors. And for... Uh, gosh, from the beginning of that show, I knew right in my home where I was going to put a barn door. Then we sold that house. So there went my idea of a barn door. Plus, I had never convinced my husband, the cameraman holding the camera today, <laughs> that I needed a barn door. Well, we bought our house here in Estero, Florida, and I told my husband I've got the perfect place for a barn door. And he goes, yeah, 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 whatever. Then, in God's good graces, thank you, Lord. I met a man in our neighborhood who makes and installs barn doors. Happy days for Carol. Well, we talked to him and arranged for him to install, build and install a barn door. Let me show it to you. It is just right here in my living room. Check this out. I feel like Vanna White. Would you like to buy a valve? This is our wonderful barn door. It leads into our bedroom. Slides, let me get up here on the handle because barn doors do have a little bit of weight on them. Why is it stuck? Oh, I know why, because the handle's right back here. Uh, that was really good for display, wasn't it? Um, slides on that rack up there. I love the black um, track that it's on. I just think it's real pretty. And we had it done in a pickled white finish. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love it. There is a handle right back here, so that when you're on that side of the room, you can open and close it. 
I had the door stuck on that handle a minute ago. But I'm very proud of this barn door. Now this door was done by Stan Goodman here in Estero, Florida, and he his prices are phenomenal. Um, and if you want to know how to reach Stan, you just send me a message, Carol at Let's Talk Dementia org and you can reach me there about anything else too but that's a cool barn door isn't it mm -mm -mm. i like even like the screws i just think they look pretty my barn door i'm happy for me thank you chip and joanna for introducing me to barn doors well i'm gonna sit back down here could you see the view outside that's where we were yesterday i think it's very pretty so just take a moment to thank our sponsors again. I want to thank Passmore's Grocery and Grill for the wonderful Southern food they've got going on over there on Saluda Street in Rock Hill. For Vitamin Depot on Selenese Road, keeping us healthy, offering all of the products we need. Today, we're going to be buying ear coning candles to cone Michael's ears again. I think I told you guys about that. It feels like he's got little bugs in his ears, so we're buying ear coning candles here locally because we're not in Rock Hill today. But you can ask David about those. And then Life in the Carolinas, lifeinthecarolinas.com, award-winning television show, quality viewing, check it out. Well, I have a funny to leave you with from Chip and Joanna. If you've watched the show, you know that Chip is a nut. He is just so funny. I love his sense of humor and the way he makes Joanna giggle, probably when Joanna may not have wanted to giggle. <laughs> that kind of goes along with the way I am. I like to make people laugh. And here's a quote. How far do you think I can stick this nail up my nose? <laughs> Can't you just see him saying that? I think that's funny. Well, I hope as you go about your caregiving journey today, you will think about some of these quotes from Joanna. You'll think about things that can bring laughter and joy and light and hope into your loved one's life, but into your life where you're looking for the good. You're looking for God's blessings. They're all over the place. And one of the blessings is he woke you up this morning. You've got life and strength and energy and health to, to watch this video and then to take some of the information, maybe the, the good feelings that I've imparted today and use them in your world. Well, go about your day, enjoy your day. Remember life is good, God is good, and he takes care of all of us and he loves us no matter what. Oh, I'm doing good on time. Have a good day. Tomorrow, tomorrow's Tasty Thursday. We're making that taco salad. My daughter can't wait because she's stopping by for leftovers. Have a good day.